For more on the Fox settlement, we want to bring in Ben Smith, who is the co-founder and editor-in-chief at Semaphore. Um, ben, let's start with just what this means for Fox. Is it good news for them to be able to move past this? They must have thought that there was something in it for them to go ahead and pay the settlement. Yeah, I think they're feeling pretty good. I mean, they, they're writing a big check and they're moving on from this. This case, there, there's another one. There could be shareholder lawsuits. There's, you know, they're not out of the woods. But I think that you know there was this sense um, in parts of the media on, among the Democratic Party that this lawsuit was going to bring like cosmic justice to Fox News. And I think it's, you know, it's always a mistake to look for kind of justice in the U.S. court system. What, what you know, if you saw the smiles on the faces of those lawyers for Dominion yesterday, I mean, that was that was the actual outcome of this case. Was those guys got many, many multiples of what that company is worth. So that Fox could have, so that Rupert Murdoch could avoid testifying. Ben, we'd heard earlier just about the the judge kind of pushing both sides to settle. That's often what judges do. They want to don't want to get involved with this, but have wondered what this would have meant to have this go to trial, have a decision that was made. What the broader implications could have been for the media? Yeah, I mean, I think you know the for the, it could have been more damaging for Fox. I think there's a sense among Fox viewers. There's really no sign that this has kind of pierced their bubble. This has been happening over on other television. This is a this has been a television show aired on other channels, basically. And there's not really much evidence that it's done damage to Fox's core business, which is booming, or that its losers, its viewers, have lost trust. On one hand, if this played out and continued to play out in public, or maybe as it will in another case, that could happen. Um, but on the other side of the, of the, and I think you know, even with this settlement, there's going to be a lot of a lot of plaintiffs' lawyers saying, "Wow, this is a that's a big number. Are there other media companies we can sue?" Yeah, I, that, I guess what comes next and, and how to to play through some of the implications. Um, Look, it hasn't affected Fox's viewership, um, but it has had an impact on advertising. You think that's a long-term issue or one that, that fades pretty quickly? You know, I mean, I think Fox has a, a broader long-term issue with advertising. You know, there were, there were campaigns essentially to, to shear off advertisers around the most inflammatory things, Tucker Carlson in particular said, that have been pretty effective. If you watch Fox, there's tons of direct-to-consumer advertising. There's a lot of my pillow. Um, Balance of nature. Yeah, I have not have not have not tried the pillows, um, but but yeah, yeah. But I think their advertising business is really challenged. But that's but they have you know the cable affiliate business remains really strong. Yeah. You sleeping okay? Yeah, try some relaxium, relaxium then. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how your uh, how things are going digestively, but balance of nature. I mean, you've said you, you take some, those little green things, don't you? With the fruit and vegetable Whatever, powder. you know, I just oh. I call the number whenever I see it on there. I'm a big fan of athletic greens. Of, uh, of what? Athletic greens, which I actually do drink. But Ben, which is advertised on all these networks. Yep. Separately, Ben, so if heads are going to roll, when do you think it happens? Does it happen before or after uh, this, this, this next suit has to take place or get settled? I mean, I think you sort of see the playbook now, right? I mean, I think they're going to, you know, Smartmatic is now out saying that they are now the ones who will finish the sort of moral crusade for justice. And Fox is hunkered down. And I assume we now have kind of a benchmark for what that settlement will look like. I mean, the problem with heads rolling, like the core problem is that the CEO of Fox, is his last name is Murdoch, Lachlan Murdoch. And it's in these family controlled companies, it's very hard for the buck to stop with a family in that. Oh, no, no. And I, so but the, I think that there's, a, there's the all sorts of management the folks and potentially talent and producers. And, I mean, they could throw other people under the bus. I agree with you. It's, it's very unlikely someone with the last oh, yeah. name Murdoch is going to yeah. have a problem. It seems like they were kind of revving up the bus for Suzanne Scott, the president of the network. But at the same time, they're sort of stuck in this place where, you know, was management really in control? They don't really want to say that. They want to say... You know, the, the, the lunatics who truly believed the crazy things they were saying were running the asylum. That's a better defense. And there's also a lot of evidence that management was truly not in control of the talent. And so I think they're tactically avoiding, in a way, avoiding choosing pads and they're keeping everybody around until after all this stuff settles. And there could also be shareholder lawsuits. Ben, were you, was there anything that surprised you in the settlement? The, I guess we've seen an admission. Of, of some sort of wrongdoing or of lies being told on the network? Was there anything that caught you off no, guard? No, there was, there, I mean, just, the, you know, I would say on one hand, the size, I mean, that's a huge, huge number. They were asking for like 1.7 billion, which was seen as a ludicrous number. And they got, 
half of it. And again, this is a company that is, you know, was talking about losing $10 million contracts. That's obviously real damage. That's real defamation. Yep. That's, it was very hard to figure out how that added up to $800 million, which is what they got. And on the other side, no, Fox didn't. I mean, I think the surprise was there was just absolutely no admission of anything. The, um, you know, the Dominion lawyers, when they could kind of like wipe the giant smiles off their faces, said, well, money is money is accountability. That was yep. sort of their line. And that's, you know, that's true. But there was no admission of anything.